You guys have been asking me to predict the pure maths paper for May June 2024 and in this video we're going to do exactly that. So subscribe and let's dive right in. So to predict the May June papers we're first going to analyze the February March 2024 paper. Then we're going to compare it to previous years and with all that information we're going to create a mock paper of the May June pure one paper, hopefully. So make sure to watch till the end. Now looking at the February March paper for 2024, you notice that the distribution of marks is quite interesting. We have integration at the top with a shocking 15 marks. In second, we have series which we always expect to be up there with 13 marks. No surprises from differentiation with 10 marks. Trig is actually on the rise with 10 marks which is expected according to its trends in the previous years. Functions is up there with 9 marks and then quadratics, circular measure and coordinate geometry. Now, why did integration do so well? So in the February-March paper, I read three questions. The first being evaluating a definite integral for three marks, then a find the equation of the curve question for five marks, then finally it had a crazy seven marker which was an area under the graph question. This is obviously a massive overperformance from integration which usually averages around 8.8 .8 marks per paper. Looking at the consistency of integration between February, March and May, June, I don't expect integration to be as explosive in the May, June series. Notice how the integration marks for this year's February March paper closely resemble those of last year's paper. And we can see that in the 2023 May June series, the integration marks went back to their usual 7, 8, 9 bracket. So I expect something similar. Series is probably one of the more consistent high performers. It recorded 13 marks, which is pretty much around its average of 12 marks per paper. It had the binomial expansion, AP and GP questions as usual. And I'd expect nothing less in the May June series, so I'll predict a showing off about 13 marks. Differentiation is a bit of a weird one. It recorded 10 marks which is just slightly below its average of 11.3 but looking at 2023 major papers you can see that it's all over the place scoring an absurd 18 marks in variant 1 and then a shocking 7 marks in variant 3. I still do expect it to be around 10-11 marks in May June as well but just be cautious because this one is hard to predict. Trig is one of the topics that we expected to rise and it seems to be doing just that. Recording 10 marks in the February March paper which is 3.2 marks more than its average of 6.8 marks per paper and I don't expect it to be as high performing in May June but it's certainly one to look out for. I predict it to be around 8 marks per paper. Functions with the 9 mark showing massively underperformed its average of 11.8 but I certainly expect it to bounce back up in the May June series. I do feel though that its underperformance is due to Drake's rise. The transformation question in February March was a trig one and typically that would fall under functions. So assuming normal service in May June series, functions should be firing on all cylinders and averaging around 12 marks per paper. Secular measure had a 7 mark showing which is in keeping with its average of 7.3 marks per paper and we expect something similar in the May June series. It's a pretty consistent topic so I'll predict a 7 mark average in the May June series as well. Quadratics had 6 marks in the February March paper which is pretty much in check with its average and assuming that it doesn't explode like it did in 2022, I expect it to be around 6 marks in May June. Finally, coordinate geometry, which had a stellar 2020, but since then it hasn't had much luck. In February and March, it recorded only 5 marks. I do expect it to do a lot better than this in May June. I expect it to be around 9 marks per paper. So, putting everything together, this is the distribution of marks I expect in the May June series for the PO1 paper. Obviously, I don't work for Cambridge, it's probably not going to be very accurate, so take it with a grain of salt. Now we're going to use AI to help us generate a paper or at least try. We'll see how that goes. I was actually thinking about making a video where I compete against AI in one of the past papers so if you'd like that video comment down below smoke versus AI. So I tried to create a guest paper with ChatGPT and clearly we couldn't reach an agreement. I mean on number 7 you're told to find K but K doesn't even exist in the question so I don't know what's going on there but yeah is probably not the best guess paper and it probably has quite a few mistakes. The problem is I would need quite a significant amount of time to actually make a proper guess paper but if I do manage to make one between now and the exam I will definitely let you guys know. 
but the takeaway from this video should be the expected marks for the May June series. Use those to guide your studies on where to focus your attention. But otherwise, make sure to subscribe and tune in tomorrow at 6 p.m. CAT for the Pure 3 version of this video. I wish you the very best in your May June exams. Good luck. Thank you.